experiment today, we will be burning money. The point of this experiment is to show a combustion reaction, which is a reaction that involves some form of heat or light, in this case, fire. Let's take a look at the chemical side of it all. Here is the basic chemical equation that we have made for this reaction. This is a skeleton equation. A skeleton equation is an unbalanced equation, meaning there are not equal amounts of each element on either side of the equation. Here are your two reactants. The first, underlined in yellow, is your 50% water, 50% alcohol solution. The second, O2, is the air needed to spark a combustion reaction. A reactant is a substance that undergoes a chemical reaction. Once these two reactants undergo a chemical reaction, two products are formed, carbon dioxide and water. A product is a substance formed after a chemical reaction has taken place. Combustion reaction, CO2, carbon dioxide, and H2O, water, are always the products. The H2O, however, is always going to be water vapor because it is a combustion reaction. Above the yield arrow is a triangle. This triangle is called a delta. A delta indicates that heat is supplied to cause the reaction. Here is the balanced equation. Now, let's get to the experiment. Matthew, what do I need to do this? Well, here's what you need, Scott. You need some money, tongs, a bowl for the mixing, salt, any form of matches or lighter, water, and the best part, alcohol as well as a cup to put everything in. We need 50 milliliters of water. Now, 50 milliliters of alcohol. Add some salt so we can have a visible flame. Money out. Make sure that you let the excess solution drain off of the money. Make sure to ask a parent's permission before using anything involving matches or a lighter. I still have to say, you play with matches, you get burned. Whoa. reaction occurs because of the balance between the alcohol and the water. The alcohol reacts with the flame and the oxygen, and it burns. The flame, however, is not hot enough to evaporate all of the water on the bill. This remaining water protects the bill from catching on fire, and this is why the bill does not catch fire. Here are three questions to think about. What forms of energy were products of this reaction? Why did you get the products carbon dioxide and water vapor? What would happen if the bill was only soaked in alcohol? Uh. If you ain't talking money, I don't wanna talk. I'll call you, back. you can tell I got this sack just by the way I walk.